What's going on guys? I just got this cool RC uh, boat, race boat from Amazon and we're gonna check out how to use it, how to turn it on, unbox it, and yeah. So let's get started. It's a uh, self-flipping boat so you can, it'll automatically flip if it flips over, you know. You can uh, use the controller and put in reverse and forward real quick and it should flip over the boat anywhere far away without you going there manually and flipping it over so we're gonna try that too so it's recommended for ages 14 and up um, it has a stand that comes with it you can assemble that and put it on the stand there's a battery that comes with it remote controller uh, two caps for the front of the device to prevent damage and uh, yeah there's also a EC adapter for charging the battery the battery is a lithium ion battery so it's not a lipo lithium polymer where you have to have it charged at a certain level but with the lithium ion you should be able to charge it at any level you'd like Included in the package is a uh, AC adapter for the US uh, plug and that end goes into the balancer charger charging port on your battery. I'll explain that later on. There's two cap protectors for the front. And we have the boat. Looks pretty nice, well designed. Now that's just foam I got on top of there. It's just static clinging to the boat, but it's washable. You just wash it off. And you have the propeller, the rudder, the little spoiler. This is the transmitter. It uh, sends a signal to your boat. And inside, there are different options for trimming. You can, uh, or fine tuning the turns and stuff. This wheel right here turns left and right. And that's your throttle. So increasing your power, reversing, or turning it off. That's way in the bottom you have your battery compartment. You want to stick six uh, fresh AA batteries. You don't want to use rechargeable like I did because they didn't work when I did it. So I had to use uh, regular deer cell batteries, AA, six of them. Here's your manual. It has all your instructions, how to use it, how to operate it, how to... use the basic functions and install the different things. It's also a stand where you can put the boat on, where you can assemble it. It's pretty easy. No screwing required. It's just like a snap-on deal. You just push the other two plates onto the one plate and it is assembled. This cap is easily put on too. You just gotta push it on and Put that little bottom piece right in that hole in the bottom. And you have your open and close. Straight is uh, closed and right or left is open. So you can just, kind of, you just have to rotate the switch. Remove the top cover from the back up. And then you have a series of locks in place where you have to make those straight to open the book the seal so I'm flipping it straight all in line with each other and I'm lifting it open gently from the back up
Inside you have your lithium ion battery, a desiccant to remove the moisture or oxygen, either one, um, water cooling around the motor, which is pretty advanced. I haven't seen that kind of water cooling system ever in a boat. Then you have your plug to plug it in, your battery to your main power. Uh, a box up there in the top right is your um, circuit board circuitry. The battery included is a 7.4 volt uh, battery. The battery is 1,500 uh, milliamp hours or 1 1.5 amps. Uh, there's also a warning you should read that. Um, that's really important to read that. Uh, that's how you plug it in. The adapters just snap onto each other. When you're putting the cover back on, you want to put the front in first and then put the back in where the like how I did it. And then you want to snap, you want to lock in the uh, locks. So you want to put it, make sure they're facing inwards and they're locked in there so they're not moving. And you want to verify that the seal is complete from the round sitting in properly. Then you want to snap, put the top cover, put the front in first where the mirror is, the black area, and then you push it down and uh, lock it in place. So on YouTube, I finally figured out how to turn it on and pair it. Uh, somebody commented, and I read the comment, and luckily I got it to work finally after like an hour of trying to figure out how to work. So this is the cheat sheet for y'all guys. You want to put it, put it in water first with the thing open, which is pretty dangerous, but you want to just leave it open and hold the boat, so make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Plug it in, then immediately turn it on, and then wait for the uh, rudder to move left and right when you're placing it in the water, and uh, then it should be connected to your uh, controller. This directions it took me like an hour literally to find out and uh, <clears throat> it wasn't written in the manual which was a problem but at least it's working and it's working pretty well now now that I figured it out it, it goes pretty fast uh, can go in reverse the default when you let go of the um, when you let go of the throttle it goes into reverse because that's the default setting so you want to have it a little bit pressed to have it off. You want to press the rod a little bit so it's off. And then if you press it even more, it accelerates. And then when you're trying to turn it off, you have to bring it next to, next to not touching it, you know. And then you can take it out of the water so the rudder is not move. I mean, the propeller is not moving. And then whenever you're... When you want to put it in reverse, you let go of the throttle. And then you can use your wheel to move it, maneuver it left and right. So as you can see, it's moving pretty fast. Um, it's a really quick boat. Like, the motors are in there are really powerful. Um, I verified after that the water cooling thing is actually working. Here, I'll dem demonstrate the left and right maneuvering using that little wheel on the transmitter so the turning is pretty good you want to have it low throttle if you're like close to off or whatever you know um, whenever you want to do tight turns but when you're when you have the throttle pressed down like full acceleration then you're gonna you're gonna have slower turns so it's gonna you want to like kind of slower your lower your throttle when you're doing tight turns.
Now when you let go of it, it goes into a reverse like that. Now I'm going to show you the self-flipping feature. So, I let go of the throttle and that's why it's going berserk. But now it's, there it is. So you have to put it in reverse and then accelerate really quick. And it flips over by itself. It's amazing. I think every boat should have this feature because this is like a very basic thing that every boat needs. So when you take it out of the water, it automatically shuts off because there's two sensors on the bottom that if it doesn't feel that there's water there then it won't arm the motor apparently that's what's written in the boat uh, manual and there's also two sensors on the top of the boat where when it flips when it senses that it when it senses that it's flipped, it'll automatically know that it needs to be in this mode where you can put in reverse and accelerate real quick. Yeah, the boat is pretty much sealed. Like, even if it's under, even if it's underwater, for like a little bit. Um, or flipped over. I checked the seals and there was no water inside. So I'm pretty impressed with the sealing and the flip over technology. If you have any problems with setup, you can go back in my video and uh, check out how to set up. But other than that issue, it's working really well and it's pretty fast. I love it. Yeah.